Well, what's up guys, Adam Reacts and Reviews here and today we are doing a top 10 for um, top 10 superheroes forward slash villains who would own a dual disc. Yes, we are doing a combination of Yu-Gi-Oh and superheroes. So without further ado, let's get into the top 10. At number 10 is probably one of the most obvious ones that I could make. And I've put Batman as my number 10 pick. Because I think that like he could like use... like Because he's he, he is Bruce Wayne basically. But just think about that. How he can like turn like his like thing. His like razor blade things that he has. Like the, the bat things that he has on his gauntlet or something like that. He could literally like um, change that into a um, into like a a style of dual disc, and maybe like it's in the shape of a bat or something like that. Maybe like the top is the graveyard, the bottom is where the deck is being held, something like that. I think it would be really cool. But yeah, number ten, Batman, because it's obvious. Like he's got the technology, really. So yeah. At uh, number 10 is Batman. Now, at number 9 is Captain America. Why not? His shield. You know, his shield could be a dual disc. And that's kind of cool. I would like to see that happen. Where, like, he just, like, throws it, catches it. Ding. You know, catches it. All the dual disc, like, it turns into, like, a dual disc. Something like that. That would be really cool to see Captain America with a dual disc. But, yeah, where would he get the technology from? Because, you know, he was frozen in ice and all this. But, yeah, like I say, probably Captain America would have a dual disc if he, like, if it was, like, brought up in, like, do in Yu-Gi-Oh Yu -Oh terms. But, yeah, probably a definite dual disc variation, if you'd like to say. But yeah, I wonder what what it would look like as a dull disc. We don't know, but only time will tell, eh? At number eight, it's Modok. Now, if you don't know who Modok is, he's a former scientist who messed with technology. Now, the reason why I picked Modok here is because he's in this like fucking thingy type thing. With his small hands. So maybe like he could have a dual disc sort of thing. Where like it's a bit like um, the professor from GX. Not like not like um, Crowler's dual disc. But um, Viper's dual disc. The one where it's like over his shoulder. I think that would be, um, be one of the... Uh, one of the variations. So like he could like pull out a hand. Stuff like that. Something like that. And I think it would be kind of cool. To see that sort of thing. But yeah. Number 8 is Moldock Because he's got the technology. He's got big books from somewhere. But yeah. Moldock at number 8 is my choice. At number 7. It is. Cyborg from DC. I see it happening. I could see that. It would be the same as Batman. But it would be a lot different. Because Batman has the... Uh, Batman has his like... You know his gauntlets and stuff like that. Whereas Cyborg. He actually has like... He could actually have a part of that. Where like his arm turns into like... Could just like... Transform and fold out. Into a dual disc or something like that. It would be really cool to see that. But, like I say again, with technology and limitations, we don't know where he could get the technology from. So, yeah, probably from Kyber Corp, if I'm honest, but we don't know. But, yeah, like I say, number seven, Cyborg, because I do think it would work, because, like, he could activate, like, his hands to become, like, disc or something. I don't know. It would be really cool.
And at number six, we have Thanos. Yes, the guy who snaps. I thought I picked Thanos because of the Infinity Gauntlet. Because I've I've been thinking, what happened if that could turn into a dual disc? Now, yes, it is technic the Infinity Gauntlet's technically a glove, but like I say, maybe it could be a rush dual variation where instead of it having like five play areas, five card areas and five face down areas and a graveyard field spell and all that, it could have the three cards for a rush duel or a speed duel if you'd like. Now, the reason why I like this is because it can be ver like, not verge, like, what's the word now? Uh, what, what is it? Not, not very like usable, but it could be used in a simpler format such as speed duels or rush duels or anything like that. So yeah, Thanos is Infinity Gauntlet. Why not? Now, we're into the top five here, halfway through. And at number five, I have picked Penguin. Because his umbrella could be turned into a dual disc. And I, and I could see that actually being a practical thing. So like, so like, let's say he throws his thingy into the ground. Maybe like they do a Yu-Gi-Oh! forward slash Batman crossover where the only way Batman can actually send these people to Arkham is by beating them in a duel of, of Shadow Realm, basically. But yeah, the reason why I've picked this one as... As a dual disc sort of thing. Is because he could throw his umbrella down on the floor. The umbrella propellers could open up. And he could have like his deck on one side. His deck and graveyard on one side. And again this is where Thanos is his gauntlet situation comes in. So like he could play like the speed duels or the rush duel version of this. Or he could have a normal dual disc. We could... We, you could have a normal dual disc variation, really. We do not know, but yeah. Number five, Penguin. Now, at number four is probably an obvious one. But I would kind of do it differently. But here we go. At number four is Dr. Octopus. Now, the reason why I think Dr. Octopus would have, like... A tentacle thingy that could be turned into a dual disc because he could have the technology to do that. He does actually have the technology to do that. You know, he's okay with Oscorp and all that. So that's why I think that would be a good variation where, like, let's say Spider Man goes to Tony Stark, gets a dual disc and stuff. He, um, Dr. Octopus builds his own dual disc from one of his tentacles and his tent is like his arms car like he can use his arms to grab the cards and all that and he can use like his tentacles to like like is he, if he's holding a card his tentacles can draw one card add it to his hand something like that i'd like to see that I, i'd love to see that no Number three, we're in the top three now. Um, number three, I would say Predator. Now, the reason why I say Predator with a dual disc is because I think they could do it with the technology they have. Sadly, Predator doesn't really mix within, like, anime and Yu-Gi-Oh! stuff like that. But I think it would. Like, I don't know what it is, but, like, let's say they could do that. But yeah, I think Predator's Gauntlet might have... Even though Predator isn't a superhero or a villain or anything like that. I just wanted to add it because like that Gauntlet thing would be awesome to have as a dual disc. Like, think about it. He's only got to press like certain buttons. Dual disc. Boom. Like, and this can be either the Rush Duel variation. The, um... The Speed Duels, Rush Duels variation. Normal variation of a dual disc. We could do... They could go all out with it. You know? Simple... 
simple thing, but yeah, quite an easy thing. Now, at number two, we have Raven from the Teen Titans. Now, the reason why I picked Raven at number two is because if you have ever watched Yu-Gi-Oh! Shadows of the Dimension, is that what it's called? What's it called again? I forgot. Oh, Yu-Gi-Oh! The Dark Side of Dimensions. And I see her using the same style as Diva did in the film. Like, so like, Dimension Summoning and all this. I could actually see Raven doing that sort of thing from anywhere. Like, I could see her doing it. It's just so cool to see that, that like, she could challenge, like, I don't know, like, anyone to a, to a duel, and it would be like, yeah, but we're going to play my way, and then, like, it's just really cool. Like, I, I could actually see that happening. But, yeah, number two, Raven, Dimension Duel style, why not? Because it would look cool, and it would be fucking awesome. Now, we are at number one. Number one. And this is going to be a shocker, but I have chosen Ghost Rider. Because you know why? Bike. Yu-Gi-Oh! 5Ds. His bike could become a dual runner. And that's what I'm thinking. Like, Ghost Rider having a dual runner. In, uh, like... I, I could see that. I can actually see that working. Like, just imagine, like, somebody gets picked to be the new Ghost Rider or makes a deal with the devil. Like, he has to duel for the devil and all that. And, like, maybe, like, maybe, like, his duel, like, the chest of his bike comes out. Out comes the duel place and all that. Like, you know, speed duel and stuff like that. I, I, I think, yeah. Probably Ghost Rider for me would be awesome. It would be awesome to see Ghost Rider in a dual runner. Like just. It would be so awesome. To see that. But yeah. Um, so yeah. Those are my. Um, top 10. Superheroes who would have. Yu-Gi-Oh variations. I don't know what to call this video. I'll probably just say. Top 10 superheroes who would own a dual disc or top 10 superhero items that could be used as a dual disc. I do not know. But yeah, anyway, if you like this video, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe. And I shall see you guys in the next video. Goodbye.